a lot of Olympic feats look nothing like they did 100 years ago. The winner of the 2012 Olympic marathon ran it in two hours and eight minutes. He beat the 1904 winner by almost an hour and a half. And if the 1948 Olympic speed skating champion were racing in 2014, he wouldn't even have qualified for the final. Olympic performances have improved gradually over time for a couple different reasons. First, athletes keep getting better because sports technology is improving. Tools like biometric sensors, heart rate monitors, and gyroscopes are helping athletes train more effectively. Better designed clothing and lighter shoes are helping athletes shave seconds off their performances. Skis are shaped to move faster and turn more efficiently. New lightweight materials have made everything from cycling helmets to bobsleds more aerodynamic. Second, athletes keep finding ways to get better at their sport. Cross-country skiers now skate across the snow, using movements that propel them much faster. High jumpers now leap in a backwards flop position, and swimmers have developed new turn methods to go faster. Third, athletes make more money now. In the past, even some of the best Olympic athletes needed other full-time jobs. Today, top athletes can train full-time because they can support themselves with sponsorships and prizes. With more money at stake, competition has naturally intensified, and average people get pushed out by others with genetic advantages. Lastly, the Olympics also includes more people now. Kenya, which has some of the world's fastest runners, only began participating in the Olympics in 1956. So it's not quite true that the human race has just naturally evolved. Today's Olympic performances are pretty amazing, especially compared to 100 years ago. But it isn't us who've evolved. It's sports. <laughs>